Hi everybody, it's Kate. Um, so I'm here to do a tutorial using the Two Muse and Carews um, palette from the Pop Art Collection. This is the look that I came up with. If you would like to see this look, then keep on watching and um, that's it. So have a great day and I will see you soon. Alright, so I'm doing day four. This is the look that I'm trying. <laughs> it didn't really work out that well, but we're going to keep going. <clears throat> Today I'm using the Two Muse and Carews palette. Um, it's a uh, like a coral, a brown, and a like teal blue. Or, yeah. And I'm also going in whoop, with this um, Wet and Wild Desert Festival, specifically for this orange because this orange because the um, the coral didn't really show up at all. So. Get on with that. I'm just going to try and change my settings. I'm going in with a base, um, a white base, because I think it will look better. I've already put on my shadow, my Fergie shadow primer, and this is just something tacky to make the uh, eyeshadow stick. And I would really like it to not move all day, and I'm not having much luck with the Wet n Wild. Um, shadow things. I'm just taking a Soho brush, just an eyeshadow brush, and I am making sure I pack on a lot of that color. And that's that. So I'm just going to go in. Because I want it super pigmented, and these are not very pigmented. You have to really layer. Um, and I'm just coming down. I'm letting it fall wherever, and I will clean it up in a minute. Because that was part of the look that I wanted. I wanted some of it down the bottom. So that looks like a good base. So I'm just going to kind of clean it up with a clean blending brush. And it's a little bit further down. I actually kind of like that. So I will make the other side look just like that real quick. Yep, there you go. Pretty, 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 pretty. All right, where was I? All right, so going in with this um, Elf C brush, and I'm going to go in with the brown and put that on the outer half of my um, crease. And if you want to know what nail color I have, I have decided you have to follow me on Instagram because for this series, I'm going to be putting up my um, nail colors on there and I painted my nails last night so just the same blending brush clean that up I don't know if this is just because I'm trying to rush now and I'm having an issue I do prefer to do my eyes at the same time so I can get them finished I'm going to go in with the coral color I'm going to try and I'm just going to do that on my upper crease and it really just it doesn't even show up. I don't know. So I'm just going to go in with that orange from the other palette. It's a different texture. It's um, <clears throat> not as bright. But because I wanted something like super bright. But I don't have anything super bright. Need a clean one. This is just a uh, a crown blending brush, sorry. Let's see if I can zoom in just slightly more. I zoomed in more and I lost my lighting. <laughs> sorry. There we go. Alright, so that's what it looks like so far. And I'm just going to try and blend those colors. And I'm going to go back in with this middle darker brown from the Fergie collection. And I know this was not my original intention to use all of these products, but to get the look that I wanted, I couldn't get it with just the, uh, the three. Palette because the colors weren't 
vibrant enough for me. So you have to kind of improvise. If I was using probably um, higher end shadows, it probably would have worked out well, but I'm not, so we're going with it. I mean, I think these are great for the cost. I mean, it was $2.99 for the palette, so yeah, I think it's awesome. So I'm going in with this um, short shader brush. It's, brush. <laughs> it's a C408 chisel, chisel shader from Crown, and I'm just stamping it in this one, the brown. And I'm just going to stamp that my lower lash line about three quarters. So right up until that teal. And then just clean up the fallout because there is a lot of fallout. And I'm going to put my mascara and eyeliner on and I'll be right back. Alright, so there you have it. Um, I know I show, I want to like just probably fast forward that part, but it doesn't matter. I put um, brulee in my my highlight shade. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the look today. Um, it's kind of exactly what I wanted. I'm going in with Fergie Daily from the Fergie Collection. Because um, it's a good nude with my bright lips. I think it'll be a nice balance. Abby screen upstairs. And Robbie won't get out of bed to get her. So anyway, so this is my finished look. I hope you like it. Follow me on Instagram for my nails. I will show them to you. But um, to know the colors, you will have to go and look on my Instagram. And it's Kate the Redhead. So um, if you want to see my nail colors, then, you know, you got to go do that. I might put my pictures of my toes up too because, you know, I'm okay with that because I can insert pictures there. I can't. I don't have time to do all of this. Um, my blush is the Mega Wild um, Spotlight Peach, um, and I did pick these up at Rite Aid, because <clears throat> certain stores sell certain things. So anyway, so if you want to see this look, then try it out. So it's a way to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon palette. Um, if you didn't couldn't get that palette, you could certainly use these two. The, uh, this is the Fergie Collection. It has a teal in it, and this is the brown collection, so you could use those too. They're a little bit more pricey than just these, but I ended up using the one anyway. So anyway, so follow me on Instagram. I do have a keek, but I don't really put anything up. Um, Facebook, I'm on. Please subscribe. Subscribe to see more videos. Um, I gotta zoom out. And there went the lighting again. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this thing hates me. <laughs> But anyway, so have a great Tuesday, and I will see you all in my next video. So, again, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Well, I have Twitter, but I don't really tweet, so mm, I'm trying. Bye!